All right, in this short video, I'm going to show you a little tip on how to get objects to lay flat on the work plane uh, if, if for whatever reason they've, they've become set at an angle that makes it difficult to do so. Now, hap this happens with my students quite often, actually. So let's just say that you're, you know, you're testing different angles out, or maybe you, you've moved an object in a way that you hadn't intended, and then suddenly it's sitting at an angle that now seems really difficult to get back flat on the ground. And unfortunately, there's no like, you know, return to ground or anything like that. There is D, the D key drops, but even if it drops, it's not flat. So there's no, there's no shortcut way to flatten um, an object back to the surface. And so the way to, to get around this is you actually use the work plane tool, which you've seen in earlier videos in my series. Um, the work plane, uh, using the W key on your keyboard or by clicking here, allows you to create a temporary new work plane. So for example, if I want to set this on the ground, I'm going to click this surface there, and I'm going to create a temporary work plane there. My cube is selected. I'm going to um, cut my cube. So I'm going to use Command X on a Mac, Control X on Windows. And then I'm going to go back to my work plane tool and click on my original. So it's right here. And I'm going to paste Command V on a Mac, Control V on Windows. And what it does is it resets that object back onto the original work plane. So you might find this as a handy little tool to get uh, things reset back onto the surface. Now, if it's a little bit more of a complex item, um, let me show you, maybe I'll just I'll try something like something like this. It's got made of multiple pieces. I'll group this. And I've gone ahead and I've moved it around. And now I can't seem to get it flat back on the ground again. So I'm going to go to my work plane tool, pick the bottom as my work plane. I've already got the object highlighted, so I'm going to cut it, go back to my original work plane, and paste it in. Now watch what happens. So it comes back, but it actually comes back upside down. So in order for me to get that where I need it to, I can just take my rotation tool and type 180 degrees and it puts it back on the surface. And if you'll look, if you'll notice, it's directly flat on the surface. Okay, that's how to use your work plane to get objects back flat on the ground.